just respond and worship with us. It's an amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. For I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. Christ is risen from the grave. Hallelujah. Christ is risen from the grave. Sing the prodigals welcome home. The prodigals welcome home. The sinner now saved. For the God who died came back to life. And everything has changed. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Death, where is your sting? Oh, fear, where is your power? The mighty King of kings has disarmed you, delivered and redeemed. Eternal life is ours. Your oh, praise is name forever.
Hey, good evening, CR family. I'm Tim Fazio. I'm a grateful believer in our Lord Jesus Christ who struggles with feelings of inadequacy, lust, and anger. I'm happy you're here with me tonight. Hey, I got a couple of announcements. Last week, we, we said that we were going to have our next physical get-together on November 5th. That is no longer happening on November 5th. It's November 19th. Write it down on your calendars. November 19th at 555 Sharp. If you're here at 6, you're late. 555 Sharp, Mark Miranda and his crew are going to have a great meal planned for us again. A little different than last one, and it's going to be very good. So look forward to that. Uh, Jake Ellis and his team are going to be doing some worship for us. Uh, our own Rita is going to be giving us a full testimony. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And then we're going to have chip night. We're going to have a celebration night, guys. So plan to attend. Please be there November 19th at 5.55. Next, if you are a graduate from a, uh, one of the 12 steps or you're in the two classes right now that are graduating, we need you. In fact, you need to be here as well. It's uh, We're going to do on November 2nd, Monday, November 2nd at 6.30 to eight o'clock in the student center. There's gonna be a workshop for sponsor and for testimony. Um, guys, these are tremendously important steps in completing your recovery, continuing in your recovery. Um, uh, doing your sponsorship with somebody is truly need. And your testimony, getting through your testimony. Guys, it's really an important part of your recovery but it's also a really important part of others' recovery. So please plan to attend November 2nd, 630 to 8, here in the Student Center at Atascara Bible Church. Okay, guys, we've got a great uh, lesson for you today. It's on Step 5. Step 5 says, We admit to, our, to God, ourselves, and to others the exact nature of our wrongs. Um, big step. I'm looking forward to what they have to say to us tonight. So um, listen to what uh, the lesson has to say, and, and we'll see you in just a few minutes. Thanks. I'm Steve Arterburn. I'm here with Dr. Dave Stoop. We're the editors of the Life Recovery Bible. Right now we're focused on two steps that is really um, all about the journey inward. In the, in the fourth step, we talked about making this searching and fearless moral inventory. And now in the fifth step, when we look at that step, we see another powerful word, the word um, admission. Admitting to God and, and admitting to at least one other person just the exact nature of these, these moral dilemmas or these problems or these defects that we come to grips with. And the things that we've done that have hurt other people and, yeah. and, and uh, the consequences of that. Uh, you know, the, the, this is a, a lost art in, in Christianity today is, is confessing to one another. Mm -hmm. And James makes it very clear that this is what we're called to do. He said, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. See? So our healing comes as we are able to confess yeah. to each other. And the church kind of formalized that to where we confess to a, uh, a priest, and or then they went to another step where it says, no, we confess directly to God. And, and it's, it's human nature to want to avoid that. Mm -hmm. But healing comes, according to James, when we are able to confess our sins to each other and pray for each other. And well, in this verse, uh, James five sixteen, it it really counters any thinking that I can recover on my own, or I can come to know God on my own, or I can do anything on my mm -hmm. own. This really calls us to reconnect with people, and that humble admission of what we've done. and And I think uh, it's such a powerful move in our life when we face and take responsibility for the impact that our behavior has has had on other people. When we look at that, uh, you know, we're getting ourselves ready for some, some future step work yes, there. Yes, yes. But in all of this, uh, it's, a, it's a confession of what I did, uh, who I was, how it affected other people, how I coped through this life, the mistakes that I made. We open up and we share 
essentially saying to another person, I have nothing to hide. Yes, and that becomes, and that's an essential ingredient in our healing. Notice the progression mm-hmm. in this step. I admit it to God mm-hmm. first. That's that's easier. I admit it to myself. That's a little harder to yeah. admit to myself. And then I admit it to another human being. And so I, I move through that progression, and I've got to do all three step, three parts of that step. I've got to be able to admit to God what I've done wrong. That's confession, and that's repentance. I need to commit to, admit it to myself. That breaks the, the, mm-hmm. the yoke of denial. And then when I confess it to you, then that's where, according to James, that's where the healing really begins yeah. is when I can do that. So yeah. uh, you, you don't jump in and just start confessing to everybody else. You, 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 there's a progression to it. This is, uh, this is really the, the second of two steps of journeying inward, mm-hmm. taking a look and cleaning up some stuff. And uh, I have to tell you, uh, I think that step five is, it is one of two of the most healing steps that puts our past in the past and allows us to move forward uh, with freedom. That's what we hope you're going to find is freedom. Wow. Step five. Scary proposition, isn't it? It really is. I mean, um, but, but, the, but the point that they made was you will be free. You will receive freedom as we walk through this step. Um, the, the scripture they, they quoted, James 5, 16 says, Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Who doesn't want that? To be healed. Um, and the, th- the thing is, we, we believe all these fears, these lies from Satan about going through this step. But the reality is, it's a healing process. It's a process by which we will have freedom. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we talk about this step five tonight, um, may your truths come forth in the discussion. We all have fears and intrepidation about revealing and opening up. But yet, Lord, your word tells us that's how we are healed. Lord, allow us to believe the truth and not the lies. Allow us to be, believe the truth and walk the walk and complete the step so that we might be healed. And as we discuss this tonight and we discuss our fears and intrepidation of this, May we be open and honest and transparent that we might grow even tonight in this process. Lord, I pray these things in your name. Amen. Hey, guys, listen. It, um, that's the question. We don't have any specific questions. We kind of changed that a little bit. But the question for tonight is, what fears and intrepidation do you have about this step? What what jumps out at you? What have you experienced if you've done this before? What have you experienced? Just talk about step five and what you learned in this video um, and enjoy your time together. Hey, you'll be receiving a a, um, text shortly if you haven't already about getting onto the Zoom meeting so you can have this discussion. Uh, Ladies, if you haven't gotten the text or you're having problems, get all the candy at area code 805 296 nine three zero five two nine six nine three zero five guys get a hold of tim at eight oh five 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 zero one two one two that's five five zero one two one two have a great discussion and we'll see you next week thanks